Hello, I'm Marcel Verbel and I'm currently studying piano at the Royal Conservatory of Brussels. Uh, at this academy I've been working on the use of tempo rubato in, in piano playing and uh, tempo rubato was defined at the 18th and 19th century in two different ways, two different practices. One was that of going forward and, and holding the, the, the tempo, of the pulse of the music uh, while the other was the practice of playing the harmony in a steady pulse while varying the melodic line. Uh, in piano playing we refer to that now as um, asynchrony between the two hands. Uh, it's, it's of the second kind of rubato that I will be talking. And for that I would like to use an example of Beethoven's Sonata Opus 27 number 1 in E flat major. I will perform this adagio in two different ways. Uh, one in which I take the score literally, that means that notes, notes that are written vertically are all played at the same time, and the other in which I attempt to explore the use of tempo rubato as an expressive way. Contrasting the steady pulse ever present in the left hand in the Sadagio con Espressione is a right hand filled with dynamic inflections, two note slurs and appoggiaturas. The dynamic inflection could also be read as an indication of tempo rubato as, like in speech, an increase in effort would require different breadth and timing. There is a nice quote of Mozart in which he describes this practice. He says, Everyone is amazed that I can always keep strict time. What these people cannot grasp is that in tempo rubato, in an adagio, the left hand should go on playing in strict time. With them, the left hand always follows suit. <laughs> 